Welcome back to another edition of A Couple of Drinks with the Clarks. Tonight we're featuring Wild Turkey 101 Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Going to the Derby. <laughs> oh, so that's what this is? You see, since you said I was going to make you a mint julep out of this bourbon that you're wearing the Kentucky Derby hat. I don't have a pretty hat. <laughs> That head's definitely ain't pretty. Welcome back to our show, folks. We are the Clarks. I'm Matt, and this is the beekeeper. <laughs> this is my wife, Patty. Oh, my God. The beekeeper. That's a good one, honey. <laughs> so tonight we are going to talk about... Here, I got this poured for you already because we wanted to open up a little we bit. Did, we did 14 hands last night with the horses. Yes. Now we're going to the derby. I'm like... I gotta give myself a cute little hat to wear. I guess so, yeah. Well, let me know when you get one. <laughs> so, folks, we're talking about Wild Turkey 101 mm. Kentucky Straight Bourbon. So, now, we talked bourbon before on our show, okay? So, I'm going to go in a little bit more in depth of what these guys do. Okay. They're two gentlemen. Together, they have over 101 years of distiller know-how. It's father and son team, Jimmy and Eddie Russell. These guys are awesome, and and Eddie is really close to my heart because he's the third child. I'm the third child. Yeah. He talks to Matthew McConaughey about bourbon, and I'd like to talk to Matthew McConaughey <laughs> about bourbon. <laughs> he's got whiskey know-how, and I just like I know how to drink it. So, anyway, we both love bourbon. So me and Eddie are like this, and uh, I'm the guy over here. So. Yes, you are. Uh, all right, so what these gentlemen do <clears throat> now to be Kentucky bourbon, or, or I'm sorry, bourbon has to be at least 51% corn, like we talked about earlier, yep. has to be aged in a charred white oak barrel. There's four different levels of char, okay? Mm -hmm. So there's one through four, mm -hmm. and these guys use number four. It's called alligator char, so it, 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 the inside of the barrel looks like alligator skin. It's all you know, just Porous lots of grooves and, and stuff. So it gives a lot of character to the bourbon. Uh, also, too, when it when it's distilled, it can't be distilled higher than 160 proof. Okay. Okay. But when it goes into the charred barrel, it has to be no higher than 125 proof. Now you see these guys are 101, right? So yeah. once it goes into the barrel at one, they they put theirs in there a little bit less than 125 because once you get it a little bit less you don't have to get so far down to 101 by adding a lot of water mm -hmm. so this is a really nice big bourbon this is like the cab for me this is like the cabernet is a bourbon so is it 101 because of 101 years or is it 101 because it's, it's 101 101, 100, 101 proof 101 proof they just happen to have over 101 <clears throat> years of experience together Okay. So Jimmy started in the in 1954. <laughs> my bee, my bee's gonna whip around my head. Like this. <laughs> it might sting you and take off. <laughs> uh, so Jimmy's had uh, been been a distiller there for, since 1954, mm -hmm. and Eddie's been there since 1981. So it's over. Awesome. It's over 101 years. So these guys know what they're doing. And uh, listen, so I poured us a couple of little drinks right. here. Let's do it. So now, the nose, the nose is gorgeous. This is, this is like. As you as you mm. go in, it's like vanilla mm -hmm. and I smell that. And I brown smell vanilla. sugar. I smell brown, brown sugar. sugar. I do smell brown and, sugar. And, and then the, and just a little mm. smoke, but I mean, you know, the alligator char is really yeah. Because I was wondering, being an alligator char, is it going to be like wicked oaky or no? But I don't know. I'm going to anyway, try. Let's give it a Cheers, Cheers love you. Love you. Okay, here I go. Mm -hmm. Going to knock my head off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so dainty. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, the very finish is almost like a little bit of whisper of orange. Cock a doodle doo! <laughs> That's a rooster, honey. It's not a turkey. Oh. <laughs> Whatever works. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Oh no, I was all set for this too when you said Kentucky Derby or Kentucky and I'm thinking the Derby and the horses and the, and the cockadoodle do and I actually, so this probably isn't going to work. <laughs> no, 
Not even close. See that? That's a turkey right there. I'm sorry, I got my hand out. That's a turkey. That's a rooster. Oh man! Yeah. Shoot. Yeah. So. Oh well. Anyway, what I'm <laughs> producing for you here is. Oh come a on. Beautiful. Okay. Mint julep. Mint this julep. is what they serve, right? This is what they serve. They usually in do it in a. Hundred and one clue. Yeah. They usually do it in a little bit taller glass, but. Uh, that was in the dishwasher, so. Okay, so I that. will say this: this this is very good. Like, like I would think that a hundred and one anything would be like, oh no way, Jose! But yeah, this is it's good. I like it. Yes, I do like it, and I do taste everything you said. I taste the vanilla. I taste the brown, um, sugar. brown sugar. I do taste brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Whisper of orange in the finish. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is a gorgeous bourbon, and you know, for people who like bourbon, sometimes, you know, you get caught up in the foofy, you know, Joe Blow's bourbon and this and that. This is just straight on beautiful Kentucky straight bourbon. Now, for it to be Kentucky straight bourbon, the straight bourbon part has to be aged at least two years. Mm -hmm. Okay, once you get to four years, you can take the age stamp right off, okay? Okay. So this is minimum five years, sometimes six to eight, depending on... You know what goes on with the weather and to be kentucky straight bourbon has to be straight bourbon from actual kentucky okay. yes ma'am okay so i made you a mint julep and i've got me a nice old-fashioned mm -hmm. so let's uh cheers okay. to the russells cheers and to the russells cheers uh, over 101 years of know-how mm -hmm. and and it shows it definitely shows here's to my bee doing a little whippy do tonight <laughs> You're going to get so many comments about your stupid <laughs> bee. Well, cheers, love you. Cheers, love you. <laughs> Don't say cock do do Oh, yeah, that's so good. Mm. Mm. I used, all right, so in mine, mm. I used a little bit of orange bitters, some simple syrup, a twist of orange, and then just bourbon. Mm. And yours is mint leaves with a little bit of peach tea simple syrup. Mint leaves all crushed up. Sure, you got the mint leaves and not the dill. I'm 100% <laughs> sure. I know what mint leaves look like. I and do then, now. <laughs> and then um, some crushed ice because you have to have crushed ice for mint julep. That's awesome. Okay. It's so really good. That is it our. It tastes really good. I'm not scared anymore. I like no, it. No, you shouldn't. Listen, don't let 101 scare you. It's a great bourbon. It mixes yeah. well, it goes a long way. And I tell you what, it's uh, these boys know what they're doing. I love it. It's so, great. Cheers, Cheers to the Russells. Cheers. And uh, thank you so much for stopping by. and uh, Have a couple drinks, have folks. Have a couple of drinks in the park. You know what I'm saying, man? <laughs> Cheers. Now you giddy up on yourself right over there. You shut that camera off. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs>